Okay, I have a Frigidaire gallery. It is producing ice, but no ice is coming out. Now, before you waste your money on tearing that thing apart, check one simple thing. Reach your hand up in here. There's a flap that opens and closes. While you're doing that, press this. And it works. So obviously, it has nothing to do with the motor in there. And it has everything to do with this little flapper assembly, which we will get to in a few minutes. Here's what the replacement one looks like. Hopefully I bought the right one. And we'll see what happens. Now the first step is to remove this little bezel. And I have it partially removed, but I popped it back in to show you how it's removed. Use two hands and put your fingernails back here. Don't pull it too hard. Don't pull it slow. You need to be really quick and short like this. Really fast yanks. And it all comes off. If you want to see what it looks like, there's the whole bezel. And you got your little tabs. Those are all the tabs that keep it in place. So the next step is to remove some screws and we'll get to the part. All right, the first step is to remove that screw and that screw and it's a square pattern which I have right here. Okay, with the two screws on top removed, this panel flops right down, and then you'll see these two harnesses right here. You press this little tab, and it pops right out. Just like that. Now, some people like to kill the power by removing some wires through here but I prefer to just disconnect this and that, that kills the power to the panel. I'm gonna get some hate comments uh, from some people for this, but uh, that's the way I do it. All right, the next thing you'll need to do is remove this little white tube where the water comes out and there's little black tabs. You need to, see that black tab right there? Just go ahead and pop out the hose and then pull it straight up and out like that. And then now that you have this water hose free, you're going to remove this screw and that screw and we'll go to the next step. All right, so we're going to remove this assembly and there's one more harness to remove right there. And you'll see to remove this harness, there's a little tab that's really hard to reach. So just stick a screwdriver in here. And with this depressed with the screwdriver, you can then pop this out. Okay, I got the old one out right here and the new one right here. Now, you might see some videos people say if you tighten these springs up, then it'll work but I paid about 50 bucks for mine. I'd rather pay the 50 bucks than try to mess with this spring and take all this junk apart and then it still might not work. All right, so this solenoid, it could be bad. It could not be bad. It could just be the springs right here. Now I noticed with this new one, it just seems a lot smoother than this older one. So I'll go ahead and put everything back together. Okay, the new one is in here. I just connected this, this little four wire harness. And I just wanna make one note. Okay, the harness is connected right up there. Before you uh, install it, 
push that down okay so don't install it like this make sure it's it's down or it's open like that that way when you when you put this back in it's a little easier there's less there's less resistance now when you put it in you gotta hold this hose up with one hand and put this under the hose and the next thing we're gonna put these two screws in right here okay the two screws are in the next thing is connect this hose before you put the hose in these two black clips you want to feed it in feed it in this little hole and wiggle it down a little first and then once you do that it'll pop in the clips just like that and, and there you go the next step is to connect this panel so when I turn the camera off I'm going to hold this up with one hand put this back on and this harness back on it only goes in it only fits one way so you're not going to screw anything up okay when you connect the panel you're going to hear an alarm it's going to go crazy like that that's just telling you that you need to manually close this little chute and it won't go crazy anymore all right so i got these two uh, uh connectors back on we're gonna go ahead and install this put the little two tabs in on the bottom first and then put these two screws on then we're gonna snap in that bevel and see what happens Okay, the bevel's on, and guess what? Yeah, we have ice. Just want to make one observation. Uh, the alarm would not turn off, and that was because this flap, it was folded over on the edge, okay? So, if it keeps beeping and this little door here this trap door won't close you need to reach your finger up and feel the edge run your fingers around the edge and if you feel it's folded over like that then the reason you get the alarm signal is because it senses that this is not fully closed and once you do that if you do have that problem, then uh, you'll know what's going on, okay? Now that, that is a good feeling.